Do you guys have anybody in charge we could talk to real quick? Um, no warm welcome for Fox 11 at this illegal pot dispensary. But when we went undercover, a much different story. Hey, come on in. All right, man. A quick ID check, and we get buzzed in. And we're bringing you along as we pull back the curtain on this illegal marijuana operation in unincorporated L.A. County. Hey, how are you? The product is organized and laid out on shelves. Various different types and amounts of pot, indica, edibles, and private reserve. But none of it is allowed to be sold here. We have the eight for 35. Under California law, during legal transactions at licensed dispensaries, only up to one ounce of cannabis can be sold or purchased. But take a listen to how much this illegal dispensary was willing to sell us. We go up to a pound. Like, really? Yeah. Like, we, you could, we don't limit how much you spend. Okay. So what is it? What, what you want to what is, what, is, what is a donation for a pound? Well, 1500 <laughs> Okay. All right. The offer for a pound of weed is 16 times more than what Prop 64 allows. And it happened right here at 25 Cap, located at 4728 Whittier Boulevard in East LA. It's one of many illegal cannabis dispensaries in unincorporated LA County. That's where there are no licenses, period. And that means this pot is unregulated and untested. 25 Cap never responded to Fox 11. So we decided to pay them a visit in person and see what they had to say. My name is Bill Belugian. I'm a reporter with Fox 11. Do you guys have anybody in charge we could talk to real quick? Um, you, you know everything you're doing is illegal here, right? The employees ended up hiding in the back room, only yelling at us over the wall. If you guys want to make a comment, come on out and talk to us. If you, if you, if you, if you want to say, oh, no comment, all right. All right, no comment, that's fine. You guys had a chance. Bye. But once a potential customer came inside, that window was back open, and 25 Cap buzzed him in, hoping to sell him some illegal pot. It's amazing to me that they don't follow any of the state laws or regulations. They, they violate everything that they know is out there already with Prop 64. Brian Blatz is the CEO of one of the largest legal cannabis distribution companies in SoCal. We showed him our undercover video, and he was shocked by what he saw. They're selling pounds of cannabis. They know that's going to be resold into a secondary market with people that aren't going to be concerned about the ages of the people that they're selling it to. Blatt says people are attracted to illegal pot dispensaries like this because they are not taxed by the state. That means the product is sold much cheaper, sometimes up to a 50% discount from what you could buy at a licensed dispensary. But it comes with a risk. I think the most important thing for the general public to understand is that by shopping at any illegal dispensary, you're 100% guaranteed to get products that have been untested and that are filled with pesticides, chemicals, fungus, and mold. Records show that L.A. County currently has a civil case against 25 Caps owner for violating L.A. County code and unlawful business practices. This was after L.A. County deputies made an undercover purchase of marijuana from that dispensary in March 2017. The case was filed in June 2017, and almost a year later, nothing has happened, and 25 Cap is still up and running. You know, when you take a look at, at this videotape, you realize that there are no rules. We showed our undercover video to Bob Lindsay. He's a former LASD commander who is now running to be the next LA County Sheriff. He's been sounding the alarm about these illegal dispensaries. There are no regulations in there. She's just answering questions and she's willing to go ahead and sell up to a pound. That's not medical use. That's not personal use. This has endangered the entire community. We have to allow that court system to play out. Uh, we can't control that. Captain Holly Francisco with LASD says despite frustrations with the system, their deputies work hard to crack down on illegal dispensaries. We go in, we've served just since January 01, we've served 30 search warrants in the unincorporated area of LA County, arrested approximately 60 people, recovered over 2,000 pounds of marijuana, uh, and it's just a system. In the meantime, LA County leaders clearly remain concerned. Supervisor Hilda Soli sent Fox 11 the following statement, saying in part, until the county develops comprehensive regulations and licensing protocols, we are still playing whack-a-mole with illegal dispensaries. I share in my community's frustration with the status quo.
And until that status quo changes, operations like this one will have no reason to stop, no matter who shows up at their door. And an L.A. County spokesman told us they are very concerned about the possible dangers of illegal pot dispensaries and they're committed to shutting them down, saying to us in part, quote, the county has undertaken a series of enforcement actions since it was brought to our attention, including an undercover purchase. In June 2017, the county filed a civil complaint. The defendant has failed to respond or appear on numerous occasions. A failure that prompted the judge to finally set a default judgment hearing for August 17th. The county is confident that it will prevail. And they also went on to say that uh, they are very determined to put these dispensaries completely out of business, even if it takes a long time to do so. This is the so, Wild West, Bill. That's what a lot of people are saying. And the county shares some responsibility in this because this was legalized. The sale um, for people to be able to buy and sell marijuana, this went into effect January 1st, 2018. The county still, for the unincorporated areas of the county, they mm -hmm. still have not come up with the regulations and the licensing yet. So any of these stores that were out there before this law passed, they were technically what's supposed to close down and that's technically what they're supposed to do. But as you saw, LA County sheriffs went in there. They're still up and running right. despite that civil case. So. All right, Bill, clearly big business. All yep. right, thank you much. Yep.